In today's video, I'll be going over a complete review of the WordPress plugin Lifter LMS, which is a great option for beginners looking to create an online course. Be sure to watch the entire video because we'll be going over some of the basic features and functions that you'll have access to. And yeah, with a plugin like Lifter LMS, you'll be able to easily create an online course without knowing any coding. We'll also go over how you can get WordPress hosting for an extremely affordable price. So with all that being said, let's get started. So first, if you don't already have WordPress, then you guys can go ahead and click on the link down below where you can get started with Hostinger. This is our favorite platform to use because of how affordable it is. Right here, you guys can see that you can start for under $3 per month. And if you guys use our coupon code, then you can get an even greater discount. So just to show you guys the basic setup process, you're just gonna go ahead and click on claim deal. From here, you get to choose your web hosting plan. So they have the premium, the business, and the cloud startup. For most of you guys, the premium plan is just fine because with that, you have access to 100 different websites as well as unlimited free SSL, unlimited bandwidth, a free email, as well as a free domain name. So I'll go ahead and add this one to my cart. And now it's gonna ask me to choose a time period. So the only one that I don't recommend going with is the one month plan because this one's obviously a lot more expensive than the other ones. So for this example, I'll go with the 12 month plan. Scrolling down, you can create your account right here. And then down here where you select the payment method, go ahead and click on this button right here where it says have a coupon code. And then just type in Charlie Chang and then click apply. And boom, you guys can see that now that the coupon is applied, you guys can get a year of web hosting for just $32. Guys, this is an insane deal. And again, if you guys are interested, click on the link down below and use our coupon code. But yeah, from here, you just have to enter in the rest of your information and then click on submit secure payment. Then once you guys are done with that and you guys log into your hosting account, you guys are gonna get taken to a page like this. And down here under the setup, you guys are probably gonna see something down here like premium web hosting. So just go ahead and click on setup. And now all you have to do is just follow the guided setup and your website will be live in a few minutes. So I'll go ahead and click on start now. I'll click on create a new website. For this example, I'll choose WordPress because we're obviously installing Lifter LMS. But if you guys are interested in using AI to build your website, you can do this super fast and it's recommended for beginners. So if you guys are interested, we have other videos on this channel that will teach you how to do that. But after you guys choose WordPress, just enter in your email and your password to create an account. From there, you could skip all of these plugins and you can also skip the templates. And then now is where you can choose your website name. So you could choose a domain that you already have on Hostinger. You could use an existing domain if you use a third-party platform like Namecheap. Or if you guys just got a premium web hosting plan, then you guys obviously get a free domain name. So if you guys want, just click on select and then enter in your desired domain name right here. You could choose the ending. So I'll change this to .com. So let's say I wanna choose that and then I'll click on search. And once you guys have found an available domain name, just go ahead and click continue and then just go ahead and finish the registration. Now, once that's done, you guys can click on edit your website right here or you can go to the control panel and this is where you can access your website's email address. So once I click on edit website, it's gonna take me to the WordPress dashboard and from here, I can go ahead and go to plugins and then now I can download Lifter LMS onto my WordPress. So once you activate your Lifter LMS, you guys are gonna get taken to their setup process. I recommend going through this. So I'll just click on get started now. For the page setup, I'll just click on save and continue. For the payments, you just have to select your country and your currency and I recommend also enabling offline payments just so you have multiple options. So I'll go ahead and save and continue. If you guys want to allow this, then you guys can get a coupon. But for this video, I'll just choose no thanks. And now there's a bunch of different tutorials that you guys can watch. But for now, I'll just click on start from scratch. So now it took me to the WordPress block editor. And if I want, I can already add a title. But just to show you guys starting from scratch, I'll just go back to my WordPress dashboard. And now as you guys can see, Lifter LMS has a courses button. And inside of this, you guys can go to courses. And if you guys want, then you guys can click on add course right here. So now here is where I can add a title. So let's say I just want to name this test course. I can click on publish and then publish again. And then if I want to view this course, then now we can see that this is what the course looks like. Now, as far as building this course out, then you guys can click on launch course builder right here. And now you guys can see that we're at the course builder page. So let's say I want to add a section. So I'll just click on this. And then within this section, let's say I want to add three lessons. And yeah, within these, you guys can just keep on adding new lessons. So let's say I want to add lessons to this. I'll just expand this section and then click on new lesson right here. Within these, I could just go ahead and click into them and rename them. Rename Naming the lessons is the same thing. Just click into it and rename it. For these options right here, this is where you can open up the WordPress lesson editor. So if I go ahead and click on that, it's gonna take me to the lesson where I can edit the lessons how I want. So let's say you wanna add a video to this lesson. All you have to do is just press enter and then click on the plus button right here. And then you just have to add your video like so. Down here, they also have lesson settings. So if you guys want, you guys can paste URLs from platforms like Vimeo or a YouTube video. They also have a bunch of different settings like prerequisites, which basically means that they have to finish this lesson before moving on to the next one. They have drip settings, which basically means that you can only access this course after a certain amount of time. And then you also have the quiz section where you can require students to get a passing score in order to complete the lesson. Going back to the course builder, you guys also have options down here, such as this settings button. Within this, it's pretty much the same thing as before. Right here, they have a button where you can add an assignment. So you can create a new assignment or add an existing one. They have a quiz button where you can add a quiz. And these buttons are for if you have content like videos or audio files. And now if I go back to my Lifter LMS and I go to courses, you guys can see that test course is right there. I can go 
back into it at any time. And going to their other options, they also have categories. So I can create categories for all of my courses. I can add difficulties. So by default, they have advanced, beginner, and intermediate. They have course tags that you can add, as well as course tracks. You can go into specific lessons if you want, and you can also add reviews. Moving on to the next feature, they have memberships. So within this, you can have paid memberships that have access to specific courses. Within these memberships, you guys can add categories and tags. They also have the engagement section where you guys can add achievements and awards, as well as adding email templates. And then last, they have the orders. So this is where you're gonna see all the orders if you have your course for sale. They also have the ability to add coupons as well as vouchers. And yeah, the last thing before we go on to the dashboard is I just wanna show you guys, if you guys click into your course, you guys can scroll all the way down. And then down here is where you guys can see the course options. So right here is where you can add a access plan. And if I click on add new, you guys can see that I can add the plan title. I can have a specific enroll text. I can choose whether or not I want it to be free. If it's not free, then I can enter in a price right here and then choose the frequency. There's also a bunch of other customizations like access expiration, plan availability, and sale pricing. So let's say for example, I wanna sell a test course for $10. So I'll go ahead and click on save. And now as you guys can see, test course is right there. If I go ahead and click on the purchase link, you guys can see that now it's taking me to the purchase page. This is basically what it's gonna look like when the person signs up. You guys can edit this on your own. And going back, you guys can also manage existing enrollments down here. And right here, you can actually manually enroll students. Going over to the other settings, they have restrictions. And this is where you can enable things like course capacity. And yeah, here on the right-hand side, you guys can see that you can organize your course by category. And you can also add things like difficulties, tags, tracks, and a bunch of other things that we went over. So yeah, now going back, if we go back to the Lifter LMS, you guys can see that this is what the dashboard looks like. On the dashboard, you'll be able to see your enrollments, your registrations, net sales, and lessons completed. And from here, you guys can also get access to a bunch of other things like the settings. So you can edit your courses, your memberships, accounts, checkouts, a bunch of other stuff. You can go to forms. So this is where they have the default for the checkout, registration, and account information. And if you guys wanna create custom forms and fields, you guys do have to pay for their plans. And right now it is $240 per year. But I would say that if you have a course that's generating you money, then this is definitely worth the investment. So yeah, as you guys can see, super customizable. I highly recommend that you guys go in and customize your own course. Just the free plan of Lifter LMS is good enough for most beginners getting started. And yeah, that's pretty much it for a complete review of Lifter LMS. Again, I highly recommend that you guys check it out and mess around with it yourself. And I also recommend going with a platform like Hostinger because they're super affordable. And as you guys saw, you guys can get one year of web hosting for just $30. So if you guys are interested, again, we'll leave a link down below to check out Hostinger and just make sure to use coupon code Charlie Chang for an even greater discount. Anyways, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got some value out of it. If you guys did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Here on this channel, we make a lot of how-to guides and tutorials dedicated to helping out new entrepreneurs start their own business. Thank you guys for your time and I will see you in the next video.